Well, hello, my amazing, beautiful, fabulous Geminis. You guys are welcome here tonight. Come on and have a seat. Let's do this full moon reading for you. Blow it out the park. Get everything down on this table. And get all the information we need. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I'm, the deck I'm going to be using tonight is the Fairy Lenormand deck. Which is this gorgeous deck over here. Okay, and you, I, I think if you've already been with me on the channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you and love you and pray for you day and night. And if you are someone who's new, you're welcome here. You're all loved and cherished and especially new people. Thank you so much for coming and watching this reading. Now I'm going to be putting out four cards for each sign tonight. So let's see what this brings to you guys. I'm just going to pick the first card. I'm just shuffling the deck. Let's see what the fairies have. For the sign of Gemini tonight. I'm feeling that you guys are getting braver. What's this all about? <laughs> You're getting courageous, Gemini. Courage, divinely guided. And I'm also burped. I don't know if you've heard me. I always burp on the Gemini's reading. I've been removing your obstacles, you know. Burping is removing, removing obstacles. It removes obstacles. <laughs> Traditionally, that's what it means when someone starts like reading and they burp <laughs> i promise you don't burp all day it just <laughs> happened in this reading and i think your last reading as well so definitely some kind of obstacle is being removed from your way there's something that's divinely guided that's coming into your life gemini and it's very beautiful it has to do with someone very beautiful or you are very beautiful i know gemini's are gorgeous i've always known that so Welcome, you guys. Thank you for your love, for your beauty, for your energy. Give me a first card for the sign of Gemini. What would you like me to have? What would you like Gemini to know? Please, my God, come through the energy of the fairies and reveal for us, reveal a card for us. Thank you. Wow, okay. So the first card here is actually you have the moon. <laughs> so I think this full moon is significant for you guys. You're definitely getting braver. You braver. You want to do something. You're up to something, Gemini. Or someone's up to something about your your situation as well. Some this may be maybe how someone is feeling towards you. When I say up to something, it's something very good, very beautiful, divinely guided. Definitely concerning love, but a very abundant and elevated love. It's kind of destined to happen. Not kind of, actually, it is destined to happen. Um, it's divinely guided. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of love. Maybe someone who has water in their chart as well. Um... Because I am seeing like the ocean, the water, so it's very beautiful. There's also someone who's very gifted in a psychic sense, like you can really see spirit and you can tell the future, you can tell the future. It's a genuine gift here that I'm picking up on. You are also very beautiful or handsome in appearance, like when people see you, they, they admire how, how you are and how you look and how you carry yourself. Um, it's a very strong energy, almost royal that I'm feeling, a very strong energy, maybe royal ancestry or some kind of like bloodline that is very divine, where there's been seers, there's been psychics, there's been powerful people and like could be actual royalty as well, anywhere in the world. The moon, the full moon. Since the new moon, there's been something looming over your, like, consciousness, which was, it was about love, but it's, there's a lot of thought that's been put into this situation. The object of desire, the divine feminine here, is very, very beautiful. It's like a sunflower. I like sunflowers, I love them, because the seeds, they remind me of the sun, and the seeds, they encapsulate the energy of the sun. When you use sunflower oil, you're actually using sunshine. 
because the seeds encapsulate the sun within them. And we use the oil, for example, to make our perfumes here. If you see my other videos about the perfumes, I've recently made one for Queen Cleopatra and we use sunflower oil in that one because she's connected to the sun. So the Divine Feminine here is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. If you're a Divine Feminine who's come to this reading, girl, you got it going on. No one can tell you otherwise, okay? So <laughs> this is powerful beauty, powerful beauty. Life, you know, world changing beauty, the kind of beauty that, you know, should be, you know, um, honored almost. There's strong feelings here though, like that's why I'm suspecting someone has water in their sign as well, and maybe Gemini and water. Um, but it's gorgeous and it's divinely guided. So the full moon is going to this give you like, it's gonna shed light on the situation. So I feel that it's gonna be some kind of communication um, coming in for you guys or you sending it to someone and the end result is just going to be so amazing. Because this is a match made in heaven. It doesn't come around two times in a lifetime. So I would advise the Divine Masculine, if you're a Divine Masculine watching this reading, go for it, man. Really go for it because time is running out. And this feminine here, the way I'm seeing her, ooh, this is another level, man. Okay? <laughs> another level. Okay, so if, if, if you are a divine fan watch this reading, this man, he needs to get a move on. And I think he's going to get a move on. Because you are very traditional. You want it to come in the right way. If he doesn't come in the right way, then it's, you know, he will most certainly be put to the left very quickly. <laughs> I don't care how good looking he is. Or, you know, because I think that it's always the divine masculine's job most of the time, like to do the... To make the first move, this is naturally how it's meant to be and has always been like this and like, I don't know, when I see a Divine Masculine who wants a woman to make the first move towards them, it's just a very feminine energy, I don't like it. I think personally, in all honesty, the way I see it is that the masculine should be the one making the move towards the feminine because that makes the feminine feel secure and, and appreciated, you know, and like, you know, the feminines need to feel secure, so the masculines need to make the first move. Why am I going on about this? Someone here needs to act. <laughs> I think the full moon will bring this to reality. And I do feel that this situation is coming in with a lot of luck and joy for all parties involved. The moon as well is like someone been looking out for signs. Like this could be the sign, this reading that you need to make this move. Um, someone's also seen what someone in their dream, dreams or dream, dreamed of them. And uh, that's also a positive sign. Um, they're saying that it was a positive sign for you that you need, you can go forward. Or this person that you are interested in, Gemini, can proceed, will proceed because they've been getting signs. And the ancient traumas would watch like the birds and um, to interpret signs and stuff like that behind their behavior. And it was called to taking the auspices. So there's something similar to that here where someone has done been divining or reading. It is someone who has a psychic sense that is very robust. I feel the masculine here especially has a spiritual element. It could be like that they are a reader or a psychic or something or the other way around, but there's a very strong divine and psychic energy that I'm getting from both people. This is a card that talks about like spiritual messages and it's the moon talks about very deep meaning. It talks about going below the surface and looking at the situation and understanding that it's actually something incredible. So beautiful. This is thing is the coming together. The fairies are overseeing this, so I don't think it can go wrong. When they get their minds to something, and put their minds to something, then that is, it's done. 
So let's see the second card because the moon card also amplifies the card that comes after it. Oh, there you go, feminine. Your boo has shown up. <laughs> Your boo is in the house. <laughs> Girl, you ain't got nowhere to hide. This person is the gentleman. This card is called. And you, you see this fairy gentleman here. Very handsome person. Um, so he is ready to leap at the occasion. So it's definitely going to happen. This involves like all the stereotypes and archetypes of masculinity, whether it's like a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, but it's someone who's very masculine with their energy. And it's like definitely talking about like the, the there is power, the power behind this person. You see the moon is behind this guy here. So if you're the masculine, you are extremely powerful and that is appreciated by spirit. I have a feeling that Gemini, your guys have been looking for someone for a very long time. It's like they've been looking and they finally found someone. The number 28 could be significant. Born on the 28th. I'm also getting the number 27. And the number 10. The number 3. This could be significant. There's the number 5 as well. I think in May something very significant might happen in May. But there is a connection of the 4 and the 5. So I believe something really positive is going to happen around this full moon, Gemini. Wow, this is beautiful. It's calmed me right down. <laughs> I was a bit nervous earlier, but now I feel the peace. Peace. It's coming to you. So much peace is in there. Serenity. It is guided by spirits. But this guy here, the masculine, wow, just wow. Like when he looks at, the, at say for example, at trees or at objects, he sees the spiritual energy within them and interprets the signs. He's got like a very unique, unique gift. This masculine energy has a very unique gift. So, let's see what the next card is. Wow. He's very focused on you, Gemini, or you're focused on each other. But the feminine is waiting, you see, and she's praying under the moon, wanting to come, wanting this masculine to come forward. And he will. I feel this is going to happen now. Now, the energy is now for it. All the energies are going for it now. Look, oh wow. So you see, this also, this card also represents a masculine. Um, let me see what this is, what this means exactly. It's a bit, there's a lot of talk here. The spirits are talking. I'm trying to listen to what exactly they're saying. Right, so they're saying that this masculine here, he's been looking and he's seen her. You see, this bear is looking at the fairy or this beautiful lady here. So he's seen her. He's recognized her. There could be a, a friend around this masculine, a woman. There is also like, wow, like seeing the feminine and being like, wow. Um, it's a very beautiful woman. Yeah, this, this reading is talking about a very beautiful feminine, though. The masculine also is very handsome, somewhat athletic or fit. I get that energy as well. Um, this feminine, the Gemini. Um, if you're a feminine, you have so much love to give. But it's, all, it's a very protected, divinely protected love. It's like the guides and the spirits and God don't want just to give you to anyone. They want to give you to someone that they approve of. And they've caught this masculine's attention because they approve of him. There's something about him that they really like. It, yeah, the, the fairies are saying that 
behind the tough demeanor that sometimes can come across from this masculine, if you look at them, um, there is a very pure heart. And actually a very abundant energy of love. He does live in comfort. The masculine living lives in comfort. Um, the feminine is happy where she is. She's also living in a very beautiful place. Like I'm getting very like retro en energies here. Like almost like someone maybe likes retro things or there's retro furniture or something like that. But this is such a connection, eh? Wow. So much power. Like both of them, like this feminine, I don't know, I've not seen anything like this recently. It's a very powerful woman. If you're watching this reading, thank you very much for coming here. <laughs> I'm really, really pleased that you have found this reading. And thank you for watching. Please keep me in your prayers as I keep you in mind always. Right, someone's turning 30. Who's that? Turning 30, happy birthday. Not now, maybe towards the end of the year. Okay. So let's get, if this resonates with you, just let me know in the comments what this means, because sometimes they throw these things at me. Let's get the last card then. What's the fourth card for this situation? I am really excited now watching it like a movie now. Because <laughs> this is really good. It's stuff that you can write books about. Doesn't happen often. Okay, let's see. Fourth card, my lord. The call, fourth card, please. For the sign of Gemini. For the reading fairies. Help us out. Wow. They live. <laughs> I swear to God, this card fell on the floor. It was up. It was like this. Okay. And it lifted up in the air like this. Turned like this and came down like that. So this is a card of a person with Scorpio as well. This could be a Scorpio, they have Scorpio in their chart. But this person is full of spirit, like it's like, you know, they're flying around them like orbs and stuff. This could also signify a new beginning. So it's like a change in life or a change in situation to where it's gonna be something completely new. Do you want me to clarify this, this death card? Okay, so, it's a very auspicious card, a very abundant card. You want this card? No, okay. I keep shuffling that. So they want me to clarify this card. They could be, like I said, Scorpio in their chart, or they have, like, this is going to be a new beginning, like it's all a new thing for them or for the feminine. Nothing that you've experienced anything like before. It's amazing. It's divinely guided, like, honestly. Like, the fairy realm is all of it. Oh, my God, look at this. The sun. Oh, my God, I'm trying very hard not to swear. I don't usually swear. <laughs> but this is a very strong energy, man. The sun is coming out in this situation, so you've got it in the back both of your congratulations. Okay, the sun has covered the masculine completely. The masculine is gonna be really happy about this. It's like gonna be the sun. <laughs> the sun is gonna cover them, cover, them, cover them up. They're gonna be very happy. If you're a masculine, you're hesitating, don't hesitate anymore. This is the sign, okay? This is the feminine here. She's incredible. Look at this, even the energy around her looks like a heart. This is someone who is the definition of love, this feminine. The actual definition of love. If you've seen someone, some people embody the energy of love. It's like they've got Aphrodite or Venus within them. They're like really are love. And I believe that people who have gravitated towards this reading, especially the feminines, you girls, you embody love. Powerful love, powerful beauty. Just wow, 100% wow tonight, Gemini. You've done it tonight. You've You've trumped out all of the other signs. <laughs> no one's had a reading like this tonight. Goodness me. Okay, now. Let me calm down. <laughs> They're laughing at me. 
Okay, I'm just going to do now a few questions for you, yes or no questions, but this is gorgeous. Congratulations to whoever's having this. You do deserve it. It's come after a long wait. It's come after a lot of pain. But um, good things come to those who wait, and this is no joke. It really, they really do, you know. Um, it's only people who get things quickly who sometimes, like, struggle with the outcomes. But for people who wait... They come and it has arrived. Okay. It's familiar. This is like talking about generational wealth. A lot of things they're talking about. Something really big here. Okay. So I'm just shuffling the other deck now, which is the Retari deck, which I'm going to be doing there. So no question answers for you guys. So please ask your first question. Wow. This card literally flew out of what is this? Temperance. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, yes, I know. We need to all calm down. <laughs> but temperance is also a card that this connection is protected divinely. Good Lord in heaven. Yeah, I really was getting very stressed by this because <laughs> this is very big. Okay, but you know, it says just calm down. Don't get into a work yourself up because this is something that's meant to happen. Okay, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Whether you're the masculine or the feminine, everything will be okay. This is also a card of harmony. Um, like there's going to be, it's a very harmonious relationship. It's a, a heart of serenity. And like people willing to compromise or adapt, you know, both these people. Um, and this love being very genuine and, and like is very calm and happy and harmonious. This is a transformation as well, temperance, and it's transformation that is happy by definition. It also talks about holidays and rest and healthy like entertainment. Um, it talks about a very magnetic bond that will help both of these people heal and recover. Or both of these energies. There's a very small possibility that this could be about business as well. But, I, you know, however it fits to your situation. You know, I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, but it's going to be a very harmonious, serene and beautiful connection. It's divinely guided. Both of these people has, have been through so much. But the answer here is a big yes. Let's see about the second question. <laughs> hope it doesn't come falling out again, Temperance Scott. Right, okay, let's go for it. Ask the second question, please. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. All right, okay. So the next card is... Was this card in reverse? No, upright, okay. So this is the Four of Pentacles. And this is actually like, you know, it's a very good card in this deck. I don't know about other decks. But it's a very good card in this deck. It's about certainty. The answer is yes. And it's about uh, both parties involved in this situation or all parties involved are very sure. They're very certain. It's like almost like love from first sight or like them seeing each other somewhere and knowing they knowing there's a deep knowing here about the situation the certainty of property like your mind kind of thing your mind <laughs> nobody else is going to take you from me so certainty of property it's also attachment to a person's own things and assets so it's like, for example, if the feminine is wealthy lady or the masculine is a wealthy gentleman, they could be thinking about like their things and their money and like, because oftentimes if someone has a lot of money, they will get a bit paranoid about, you know, many people do that. I'm not talking necessarily about this situation, but it's just talking about, don't worry about your property or don't be attached to your own things. Because the feminine, this is towards the masculine, because the masculine is coming towards her. He's definitely going to do it, but it's like, you know, this just, this may be at the back of his mind. He's like thinking, 
um, you know, what's going to happen here. He's willing to give. He's very generous. He's very attached to his family on a spiritual level. But I want you guys to know that this connection is a gift. It's a legacy. Okay? All the parties involved here are going to come out on top. This is like an inheritance of wealth, an ancestral inheritance. There could be an ancestral connection at some like very old time there were like an ancestor that were common between these two people because there is a similarity between these two people could be an appearance could be in a behavior but they're very similar it's like two peas in a pod so cute so beautiful it's gonna be complete complete between april and june this thing is gonna be complete signed sealed and delivered okay so just so you guys know but there is definitely fast incoming communication here and the answer here is a hundred percent yes this is the card of yes 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 it's certainty wow amazing i love this reading wow this reading is fantastic i'm never ever deleting this reading <laughs> I love it when they come out like this because this is like really powerful. It's like I really feel that I need to give someone a message or someone needs to hear this like, you know. So let's see about the third question then. Let's see, give us a card. Oh my God. <sighs> card speaks for itself, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> got the lovers so I don't know it's that to say I'm speechless there's the lovers here the lover so this is definitely destined and it will happen and there's also some kind of tower moment where there's gonna be communication with nice tower um, and just it's like there's some, he not hesitation, but it's like this masculine wants to make everything perfect, which is very commendable and, you know, adorable. Um, this is, a, it, it talks, the lover's card on the, in this day, it talks about a very important choice. And like I said, this, this union is divinely guided and this choice is a very important one because it's going to change a lot of things for a lot of people to the better. Um, it's a decision that cannot be put off. It's like this masculine feels tied to the feminine on a very deep and spiritual level. And she feels that towards him. There's something about this feminine's eyes. Her eyes. When she looked at him, he feels like she's looking at his brain. Like, <laughs> it's a very powerful, wow, very powerful stare. And something about the feminine's body that's very beautiful. But the masculine is also very handsome. Um, they're very well suited to each other. Spirits are all around them on top of this situation. This has been prophesied on both sides. So if I'm doing this reading for the feminines uh, or masculines tonight, if you have heard this, your counterpart has heard it before from another reader or maybe through their own divination or it could be through dreams as well because this masculine here is a big deal he's a big deal he deserves respect you know i'm not like saying he's arrogant or full of himself but he deserves it he deserves the respect so the feminine she is a very abundant she has the energy of abundance, the feminine here. Once this union happens, the, the amount of money that's going to come into these two people's lives is unfathomable. It's like... Don't get into an elevator with her sister, that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> if I can say these things. But I think that, you know, it's going to be a lot of money, so... Like the temperance card said, it's a divine union. The money's gonna come, but I think it's gonna be put to good use. 
is going to be bring a lot of happiness to a lot of people a lot of people even spirit will be happy because i think both of these people are spiritual they you will be in each other's arms by june even i think communication will start around now but um maybe in april at some point but the actual holding each other in your arms like this card looks here is by june right so this is a yes of course <laughs> i think it's obvious so i'm gonna just close this reading with a prayer for you guys dear god please intercede on behalf of the sign of gemini tonight wherever the sign is on their charts Give them, give the masculine the strength, the discernment, the clear vision to do to make this happen. Give the feminine the patience, the love, the purity, and the foresight to accept this man. Give them all love, both of them. Bless this union, my God. Bring in all the abundance that you have willed for this union, my God. For it is great. Bring them prosperity like they have never seen before. Give them health. Give them protection that is impenetrable. Give them love that they have either of them have experienced before. Something so powerful that they, you know, they've both struggled. They both deserve it now, my God. So bring it down upon them now. Inspire them to do the right things. We give this union our blessing oh, <clears throat> going forward. Excuse me, some spirit tried to channel me, channel through me, but they were from the ancestors. They're saying they give the union the blessing. Um, that's from the feminine side, I believe. Yeah, they're very important. This feminine, they don't want to give her just to anyone. That's why she's been waiting like this. She's been waiting a long time. Um, but it's, it's been prophesied, like I've said, my God, please complete this in its full glory. Like the full moon shines in the sky. May it be beautiful, gorgeous, divinely guided. May these two people have happiness, joy, protection, divine, impenetrable protection and love and give them health, give them acceptance from everyone that is involved. Open the way ahead of them, God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, you guys. This is a very incredibly passionate reading. This is so beautiful. Like, this is a, a real love story here. It's, uh, it's really, really comes through like this. So, be prepared, Gemini. This is probably the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to either of you. So, you, you are going to be amazing, okay? I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in your next reading.